Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shadow Sun here. Hope all are well. So I wanted to talk to you guys about spellcasting in the context of emotional states. So just to let you all know, by the way, um, I do have a blog post with this um, video because I had a lot more that I wanted to say that I didn't get to say in the blog and vice versa. So what I wanted to talk about in this situation concerning this is I believe that magic can help with a lot of things. I believe that magic can help us in many ways. I do not think that magic is a solution to every single one of our problems. I want to just put that out there. And in the context of when I say emotional states, I mean when you are so mad about some situation that you are like, I am going to get this person for doing what they did and that's it you know whatever it is they did to you somebody's being a horrible person at work somebody's cutting you off in traffic I don't know whatever the situation is and you want to give issue or use magic to help you that's fine but when you're in a state like that when you're really mad like we'll just go with the cutting off traffic example um because that's the one that just came into my head so if you're getting cut off in traffic you're so mad that you're being cut off in traffic and this and that, that you're like, I'm going to get this person. And I'm not saying everybody does this because, like I said, poor example. But I could give another example. I had a situation where somebody I knew was being harmed by another person. And you could say that this is justifiable. And I'm not going to get into the ethics of everything like that when it comes to spellcasting. Because it's going to vary between person to person to person. Um, past and tradition and all of that type of thing so if we're not practicing the same thing it's different but I don't want to infringe on somebody else's views I'm just gonna say these are my views so the situation um, that I can't really talk in great detail about because it it involves other people uh, I will say that this person was more aware than they let on about what they were doing and what really got to me was how nothing was being done and that really got to me and I was ready to just do all kinds of magical whatever and I didn't do that because I was so mad I wasn't thinking clearly I wasn't rational I didn't even think to consider that maybe the spell wouldn't have even worked maybe because I'm so mad you know if you're mad, if you're really, really mad about something, you're not going to think very clearly, like I said. And the other thing is that energy is not possibly going to manifest in a way that you really intended. Your intention is not going to be clear. Your will is not going to be exercised effectively. Your ability to focus and visualize what you want is going to be fueled by the energy of that anger. Not that anger shouldn't be used or emo high emotion shouldn't be used. I just think that it needs to be a little bit more practical and a little bit more balanced because when you're in a state of that anger and frustration, um, I could have caused more problems than I could have solved. And sometimes there's instances that magic won't solve the problem. Magic isn't going to solve every problem. And I think that it's important to do divination in most spell casting situations, not during the process but before the process because it will allow you to consult with your spirits or your cards or whatever you use to divine and really figure out if the spell is necessary for that situation and in doing so you'll be able to make a more practical and more effective decision and if you are mad use magic to help you get through that Put that energy into something else. Channel it into something that's going to benefit the situation um, in a way that doesn't accidentally cause any problems to someone else. Or key areas in your life. Because who's to say the energy is going to be coming from all over the place. On one hand you could say, oh well maybe the energy will just be coalesced and come out all at once. Maybe it will, but maybe it won't. And it'll be very unfocused energy, so it won't necessarily have a clear target in mind. It won't have a clear path to manifestation. It will not be able to take the path of least resistance. It will 
more than likely be very unfocused, like I said, and scattered and it could cause more problems and you might build up more resistance um, to an extent. And I think the main thing with this is to understand that sometimes the mundane physical actions that we do are more appropriate than magical ones. Sometimes the magical means aren't necessarily right for the situation. And in the context of the situation that I was talking about, it really wasn't. And I just think that these points should be considered, along with considering how you can use uh, the mundane actions of getting through those emotions prior to your spell casting to fix the situation. Because in talking with someone else about that situation, either a friend or a professional individual, that allowed me to get clear about my intentions about that situation to figure out how I could help. And I realized that I just said that magic was not necessary for that situation. But I'm thinking about all types of other situations. This could apply to many types of situations. I do believe that magic and emotion can definitely help and go hand in hand. I just think that it needs to be a little bit more balanced and a little more practical in the approach and how you do that. Um, in addition to just doing the physical part to get through that emotion will get you clear on what you want to change about that situation. How do I want to fix the situation that I don't like or the root cause of the situation? How can I get to the root cause? And that might help you get to the root of why you're feeling that emotion, which will then allow you to get very clear about not just the intention. And I don't mean, because intention is not everything in magic. You're going to get clear about how you want to cast that spell and how it's going to help the situation and it's going to help you get the situation that you actually intended into manifestation and change that, that part of your reality into something more effective than just casting a spell when you're mad and causing possible issues. And again... This is just my personal opinion. If you disagree or you have your own thoughts on the topic, please let me know in the comments. This is just, again, my personal opinion. I may change later on. Maybe I'll have an experience that makes me think twice about what I'm saying. Because I'm not saying that you can't use magic and emotional states of fear. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you should consider if, you know, like I said, if the spell's even necessary. If... It really will benefit the situation or if it will not help the situation again if you have your own thoughts or comments please leave a comment or respond to this video let me know what you think about this this is just something that I've been thinking about with what's going on right now and dealing with mental health issues so if you like what you see thus far please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and make sure that the notification sounds are set to all speak to you all soon Many blessings.